Here's the jacket before I bleached it. Here's me after. I upcycled a denim jacket with bleach to make it look unique. Hi there, it's Robin from Chiffon Sewing. Today we're going to continue bleach dyeing on denim. I've got the design traced here. The real test will be when I bleach dye it. That process is about to start. I'm going to get the tools ready and then I'm going to begin the bleach dyeing process. I've been waiting a long time for this. Let's begin making a bleach sampler. I am going to just do a bleach test. What I'm using is common household bleach. I'm just going to pour about a half a cap of this. I just got some spare denim fabric from my fabric stash. When you dye with bleach, the bleach bleeds onto the fabric. I've got three household products a tiny little brush. I got it as small as I could. You might prefer to have a brush with a point on the end and common cotton bud. I'm going to just see how far each of these bleed with a dot and a line. I've got some really intricate areas and I just want to see what the difference will be. So I'll just put some water in this glass. If I have a little water for the brush, that's good for the brush because the water will neutralize the bleach. Let's take the brush I'm dipping it right into the bleach itself. I just want to see what kind of effect that is when I put a blob of bleach on there. I'm going to draw a line of the bleach too. I can already see that that is quite thick. I can try to go a little bit thinner with this brush by just dotting it along. I can really see that is really, really thick. Now, you don't see the effect of the bleach on the denim yet, but believe me, you will. It is working right now to bleach this fabric, and you can already see how it's getting lighter in this area. The next one I'm going to try is a cotton bud. I'm just going to put a little blob right here. I might have some areas that just require a dot. Let's see if I can do it just less than that. So it has a little bit more flexibility that way. And let's see if I do a line. I'm going to stretch a line all the way down here. I still have quite a thick line, but it is thinner than the first line that was done with the paintbrush. So I'm just going to take this little tiny hair clip. I might just put a tiny little dot right there. Now let's do that line. And here I will have to keep dabbing in and reapplying because it's not a porous thing. I need to give it some time to see how that's going to do. I encourage you to take a spare piece of denim and do this before you start applying the dye. It's a really good idea for you to see what you're working with. If you give it enough time for your bleach to come through, you'll start to see how far the bleeding has gone and the impression that it's making. I can already see what that's like. One way that I can use my paintbrush effectively is to just use the tip with less on it and just move up again the spot and just lightly touch it and what will happen is that I will get not as thick of a part. It's a matter of understanding how far this bleach is going to bleed and also just working with what you've got. With practice you get it. I've just washed the sampler in some water to neutralize the effect. This is not a needed piece of fabric, but bleach gets a little bit stinky. It's a very strong chemical. I've got all my windows open. If you can get away from it and take breaks, that's very healthy. You can see the effect. Here is where I use my paintbrush and I drew it along. Then I tried just making it a little bit thinner at this point. You can see how thin and how thick it can become. This is where I use the cotton bud. Cotton buds swell up so they're going to get quite thick in spots. And then my little bobby pin, this is the line that it made. The only thing is it's not a really smooth line, but if I don't care about that, then that is a thinner line. I did my first dot. I didn't do it lightly, so for a really big blob like that, that was the paintbrush. Then this was the effect of the swollen cotton bud. If you want less than that, maybe just use a brand new one. So if you didn't want to go buy a paintbrush, you can use that. You just have a whole bunch of them on hand. This was the effect of a blob that came from the bobby pin. I did try to do a little bit of painting here with the paintbrush. I washed the fabric by that time. The water had already started neutralizing this. You can also see that the water diluted the bleach. Consider using the dark 
piece of denim because you might like the fading effect. If you want to spend more money, there are also some bleach stops that you can buy. I didn't want to spend that money, but I will put a note on what those are in the description or the pinned comment. I am going to begin the exciting stage of the dyeing process. I also have a little bit of toilet paper on hand. If you're moving your hand, you've got this underneath so the dye doesn't drop it onto the fabric and also doesn't get onto your hands. You can hear the kookaburras outside. If you feel it is better for you to wear gloves, then do so. For me, I don't feel that this is the type of dyeing that I personally need to, but if I change my mind, I will stop in the middle of this, get up and put them on. Do what you feel the safest with. The reason I'm suggesting that you can make the choice is because with this dye, you can see we're just using a paintbrush and there's not as much of a chance for you to get the dye on your hands, but be careful. If you do get it on your hands, get up and wash your hands immediately. If you would like to wear gloves, you can. For me, I want to have the agility of my fingers, so I'm not going to. I'll continue doing that and we'll be able to see the effects of this as I dye it. It's kind of exciting. Let's review our bleaching process. You can see where this is already starting to bleach into the fabric. In fact, I actually went over it one more time and added more bleach in spots where I thought it was a little bit light and I added a little bit more in here. I didn't on this one, so this is the oldest amount. You can really see the white coming right out onto the fabric. We don't have to put it in water or anything, just let it bleach right in there. You could see the different kinds of techniques I was using as I was going along with paintbrush, the cotton bud and the bobby pin. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please hit the like button. Look at the letters. That's coming out really well. The dye is seeping in more and more, so it's becoming more white. You can start to see it more. What I've actually done along here is an outline. All of this part here is going to actually be white. It was easier for me to use the bobby pin to do a preliminary outline. In fact, up near these areas, I might continue with either a cotton bud or a bobby pin because it won't bleed as much. As I go through this, I keep in mind that all of this does not have to be perfect. I'm going to have fun with this and keep on going. Another thing I've got right beside me is the original design. Then you have something to refer to as you go. I have done the bleaching of the garment. I've washed it by hand and I've dried it in the sun. I'm really pleased with some things and there's some other things that I would like to change. I'm very pleased with how the words have come out and just the overall design. I can clearly see the, the sea devil in it. And I'm okay with it that the lines are quite wide because I knew it would be like that with bleaching anyway. From what I understand, when you bleach dye, it's kind of a grab bag of effect. You don't completely know how it's going to turn out until you do it. Obviously, as you do this, you get better and better at it. I'm doing a much more complicated design than when I first started. So I guess I've got to say I'm pretty okay with a lot of what's happened. I could be happy just going out with it and enjoying it as it is, but there are some things I still want improved. Primarily the modeled effect that's in here. I had hoped that it would be more of a uniform white. I actually turned the garment around and I was bleaching it from the other side, which did help because then you've got some really good white patches there. However, I think it can be improved. The other thing is I've lost the definition in certain parts. 
I tried to make a little puff of hair here as according to the original design and that didn't come out so I'd like to just fill that white in and it won't matter. I don't mind that these areas here are a bit more white than those areas because it's defining the line, the lightness compared to this lightness. I do think that that could be improved but we'll see how that goes. So some things I can live without. But one of the things that I don't really think is clear right now is this area here for her scarf. If I bleach this again today, I can maybe get a more uniform effect. I think that the modeling happened because I didn't realize that the, when I bought this, I bought this at an op shop and I just assumed that it had already been washed once. I just accepted the denim as it was, which probably isn't the best thing to do. It's more high if you wash all the clothes that you've got from an op shop. I should have done that. If I had, I would have realized how much dye and probably starch would come out of this. My bad. That is something that I normally would have realized when dyeing anything. Why I didn't is beyond me. Rule of thumb when you're about to do this, wash the garment first, even if it's clothing that you've had before, give it a wash because you never know what kind of starches are in it. Maybe you've used starch when you're ironing and it really affected the colors. I was freaking out and thinking, oh my gosh, why is this coming out yellow? Well, I now realize it's the type of denim and this is something that if you don't know what the original dye process of the denim was you could get some interesting effects that you didn't predict did you know that what you're watching is part of a video series i'll give a link to the playlist in the description and below and i'll list the next video at the end adding more bleach in these modeled areas is doing the trick. It's filling in the parts that were a bit too mottled. It's good to experiment, but some areas are starting to bleed into others. Let's see how it turned out. Well, it's about time. I've got some roadkill to attend to. A Tassie devil doesn't have all day, you know. You can see how the jacket looked before the dye and how it looked after. I'm really pleased because I like the unique look. Keep an open mind. Nothing's perfect the first time. Try out different ideas. Most of all, have fun. Before you dye the fabric, start with a plan and sketch the logo onto the fabric. Let me show you how I did that right here. Watch this next video.